Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is a new year, a new start. This is our first episode of 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are blessed with a very big mega world superstar. Can you guess what? We have Phil Collins in the house. Hey, hey the doing? musician, right? Ah, no. <laughs> this time we have Okumu himself. <laughs> he yeah. is an actor, he's a model, he's a basketballer, and also a student. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome none other than Mr. Phil Collins. Okumu, you're most welcome, bro. Thank you, sir. How you doing? I'm well. How you you doing? good? Yeah. You're the biggest man in the building, man. Do you know sharing a, a name with Phil Collins? Indeed, have his uh, head. I don't know. Why, why do you think your parents are up to when they're calling you Phil Collins? Is it your real name or it's a stage name? No, it is. My, my mother is a big fan. A big fan of Phil Collins? Yes. Did you grow up becoming a fan of Phil Collins as well? Yes. Or you just inherited the name and... Uh, no, no, Phil actually, I, I grew up listening to the man's music, but yeah. you know, of course, different generations, so... Mm. I doubled in and out. Okay. Yeah. Now you're in the generation of who? Alien skin. God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> Did no. you just say God forbid? <laughs> I mean, no offense to the man, but no, I don't. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm taking it very fast. So, very quickly, tell us who is Phil Collins Okumo? Um, a Ugandan. Mm -hmm. a Ugandan that models, acts. Um, okay. I've played basketball. Mm -hmm. Right now, I uh, play for the Makara Eagles because after joining, after getting back into school, yeah. I dropped mm -hmm. um, pursuit of the national league and yeah. to focus on the academics. And mm. yeah, once in a while, I'm in behind okay. the camera and a okay. model. So, mm. yeah. okay, wow. In which modeling agency are we talking of here? Uh, Bliss, Bliss Models. Oh, you're, you're under Bliss Model Management. Yep. Is it for Cora? Yes, Emmanuel ah, Cora. Okay, wow, that's nice. So, what inspired you to join modeling? Um, did you just say I'm tall and I can model, or is something that really pushed you? Not necessarily. I, I love to look good. Mm -hmm. And the very first time modeling came to me was um, quite serendipitous, actually. A man that goes to the same gym mm -hmm. I go to mm. thought I had a good build. And okay. one of these, one of the days that I go to the gym, I showed up, you know, dressed formal, mm -hmm. and he picked interest. He said, you know, do you model? I said, no, not quite yet. He said, how do you feel about showcasing my tailoring? I mm -hmm. said, sure. What do I have to do? He said, just dress up. And so that led to another, to yeah. another. Before I know it, I mm -hmm. catch Cora's eye, and okay. here we are. Oh wow, perfect. Yeah. So that guy is who scouted you. You could say that, yes. He scouted you. Yeah. He just didn't have a modeling agency to sign you. Indeed, at the time. Okay. I had never, it's not something I looked up to and thought, mm. you know, I should model, but yeah. I mean, if the shoe fits. Put it on. Yeah. It will impress you. Indeed. Wow. Okay. And so, what, under your modeling, what have you so far worked with? Which brands? Or have you done runway? Which type of model are you? Um, I have done runway so mm. far. I haven't yet done... Um, shoots but i believe that's oncoming usually the toughest in my opinion anyway mm. the toughest aspect of modeling mm. is runway yeah because the lights the cameras mm. the, the rigor mm -hmm. of the process mm -hmm. there's not there's not much mm. patience or rest when it comes to runway when yeah. it comes to shoots you could sit down have some water when yeah. it comes to runway it's live it's pull up do your mm -hmm. thing no one is even there to commend you mm -hmm. you don't get to celebrate like a football goal yes yes so you go back and dress <laughs> dress back yeah. go back and dress dress until okay. you're done yeah. and only then can mm. you breathe but um this might also hurt some mm. models to hear mm. but mm. The process is the roses. Like there's, there's no greater feeling mm -hmm. than that process. I mean, sure, it's a job, it's an identity, but yeah. what what we do only we can understand the kind of adrenaline it pumps. Mm. Like a skydiver, they can explain to you, they mm -hmm. can try to narrate mm -hmm. the feeling to you, but mm -hmm. only the experience. That's can the, when you're there is when you'll say, "Wow." Yep. Like when you've gone for bungee jumping, you look at it, but then when you're in the air exactly. and your head is facing the water, you said, I'm dead. Exactly. I mean, that, that person, you know, when these lights are our uh, water, okay. big bright light, uh -huh. all in you, and mm. 
there's like 30 cameras flashing at mm -hmm. you in under three seconds. People are sitting side by side looking yep. at you. Yep. Huh? Some are cheering, some are jeering, some are looking you dead in the eye. You cannot Dang. blink. So. But do you have time to look in the eyes of the people who are watching no. by then? No. You don't um, mind them? Believe it or not, in that moment, <laughs> yeah. and some models might corroborate this, uh -huh. you are not there. You're not there. You are not there. I You're mean, just a dead body moving. That's, that's where practice no comes in. Yeah. Mm. Muscle memory because mm. um, the concept of a model mm. is you are the epitome mm. of man's living. Yeah. So most people say models look tough. It's not tough mm. and it's also not gleeful. Mm. You are in between. Okay. So when somebody looks at you, they should think, Oh, this person's jawline, this person's haircut, this mm. person's dress code, mm. this person's gait, your yes. posture, your, mm. I want to emulate this. Mm -hmm. So because you have that kind of burden, that kind of responsibility to mm. inspire, to emulate, to mm. create an almost, or if any, a perfect image mm. of what another person should aspire to become, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's a lot of pressure. Of course, yeah. of course. So, wait, uh, which which run room, uh, um, uh, or let me say, which fashion shows do you look up to when we talk of the Ugandan industry? That like, if I would do this, then I feel like, yeah, um, at least I've made it in Uganda. I I cannot say there's a house that stands above because um, money, they they vary in genre. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, I was at a bride and groom expo, I think a year or two ago, mm -hmm. and. When you're there, you're not thinking funky, you're not thinking mm -hmm. youth, you are thinking formal. How uh -huh. would somebody want to look on their wedding day? Yeah. So compared to another show, which may have another concept in mind, mm -hmm. they may vary, but um, it's, it's, it's in the job. The job gives you the prestige. If you mm. feel like you would feel accomplished working for let's say our brands you'd say yeah okay that's mm. me whereas another would say maybe bride and groom mm -hmm. vision and uh, vision Group, fashion yes. week yes another mm -hmm. one would say although if your question was aspiration mm. Kampala Fashion Week. Perfect. That's Kampala. what I was looking at. No, I was wondering. Well, well the, question, the, the, question, the question limited me. Yeah, because, I mean, I mean I, there are different... In Uganda, we are limited by different... The fashion shows we have. True. You'll find you have Air Brands, you have Kampala Fashion Week, you have yeah. Bride and Groom. Can you mention any other which is really... Uh, ah, that's what I wanted. It's, yeah, you'll yeah, scratch was, your head to find that. Indeed, right? indeed. But, so, yeah, Kampala mm -hmm. Fashion Week, I mean, sitting on, standing on that stage with, uh, you know, mm -hmm. Gloria Wavamun over uh -huh. there, that that would boost something that locally like, speaking. Yo, you'll be like, yo, I made it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, and uh, commercial modeling. Have you done commercial modeling before? Um, Which brands have you worked for? If you have, if you have not, then uh, what would do? Anyway, mm -hmm. as a model, you may not mention what you want to work for, right? Well, not quite yet. Let's mm. say there's work in the pipeline mm. that cannot be disclosed until it's launched. Yeah. Because... Oh, you have some work in the pipeline? Yes. Okay, perfect. Until it's perfect. out, then I cannot say so something. So you're not yet a brand ambassador until it's out? No. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Now, we, 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 let's talk about your acting career as okay. well. Yeah. So how has it been? Um, grassroots, really. I've, I've only done one, one show. I was... Um, I was an extra on um, Damalai, okay, Paul okay. Magic Prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really epic show kicked okay. off. Mm. That's when any of us could talk about it. Mm. But it was it was exciting. It was okay. exciting to identify okay. as an actor because ah, okay. for once to be on the other side of mm. things, mm. fulfilling experience. Yeah. Do you look up to more more gigs in acting, or you just feel like certainly? It's what you really Certainly. want to go. You want to go full throttle into acting. Yo, if okay. anything, yeah. if that's 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 a major aspiration. Okay, like more and more of those jobs mm. until until it's a household. So, name. which steps have you taken to try and reach that that goal of acting? Well, personally, I wouldn't mm. say there are many steps I could do, but. Mm. God has been faithful. Most mm. of the people I work with on uh, Damalai, yeah, they keep me in the loop. Okay, yeah, okay. so something may You're come in touch up. with them. Yes. Okay. Wow. That's nice. So, uh, what was your experience when the lights were out, the cameras, the gaffer is there, you uh -huh. know, sound is here. How did you feel when everyone is looking at you and you're like, yeah, I'm the big deal? It's far, it's a far cry from what one could imagine yeah. in the bathroom mirror. 
Yeah. Because, you know, anyone who has anticipated I want to act, mm. it doesn't matter if you are um, a child actor like yeah. Marseille Martin or if you are Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh -huh. Nothing prepares you for a scene where you're in a room mm -hmm. and the camera is seeing three people, but you're actually like 15 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the role I played on Damalai, mm. I was um, a chef, I was mm -hmm. a sous chef. Mm. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful learning experience. There was an actual chef. Oh, yeah. Okay. I never I never got his name. Mm. And if he's watching this, I'm sorry. I I was really thankful to him. Mm. He was the dedication that goes into this craft gives yeah. you um, a newfound respect. Yeah. Because when people hear Uganda movie industry, mm. they underlook. They think, man, what oh, have yeah, these guys yeah, done? Yeah. But the hard stuff. work that goes yeah, yeah. on behind there, mm. God. Uh, you, you, you learn to appreciate, you know, Doreen Mirembe yeah. and um, most of the names that have gone into some of the works that yeah, have yeah, come yeah. out of mm, this. Mm. And the fact that every moment is a learning experience. Mm. Like I said, in your mirror or in front of your front camera on yeah. TikTok, yeah. you think you're doing but when you're right there, someone else is going to tell you, um, maybe don't move your eyes too much. Uh -huh. Maybe watch the emote, you know, how you emote. Mm. Um, watch your expressions, mm. your posture, your mm. emulate the character. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's beautiful. In your head, you think, now nah, one take, I'll have it. Then someone shows you what they just recorded and you're like, ah, let me do it yeah. again. Yeah, there's okay. constant room for improvement. But um, other than uh, Damalai, which other... Ugandan productions, have you looked at and you admire, you're like, wow, if I would also get into this production, or which producers have you looked at and you're like, wow, working with this producer looks to be very amazing? Um, first question, Beneath the Lies. Yeah. Second question, Lukman Ali. Wow, Lukman Ali. Oh. Looks like everybody wants to work with Lukman. Um, Why would you want to work with Lukman? I met, I met Lukman before Girl in a Yellow Jumper. Yeah. And I I don't want to flatter myself. I don't want to, I, I I share a wavelength with this man. We um his personality, he's a pure artist. Yeah. He's a pure artist. Many um of us mm. as people get into some professions mm. as work. Yeah. We are there by circumstance. Mm. This man decided mm. and pursued. He yeah. followed. Yeah. So, who wouldn't want to work with somebody whose heart is in what he does? Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, do you identify with this genre of, uh, of uh, movies? Do you identify with it? Because um, he has come out to be a guy who likes action. Can you do the action part? I mean, sure. Whatever it takes. You can, be a, a, like, you can do what the stuntsmen do. Yep. I, I could attempt. I've, <laughs> I've, seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen Tom Cruise do something. Hey. I've seen the Wawuyos do okay. some things. And yeah. I, I don't want to get ahead of myself there. Yeah. But I, yeah. I'm coachable. You you could, yeah? Okay, wow. Um, finally, I don't know if you're to enter into the acting sphere. Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, like you said, runway. And modeling has the runway and then it has the, the photograph here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Runway is more of a live. People watch you, you go in the, that runway, you hit the runway, go first. Julio Mofez or whoever is there, takes your pictures, you come back. And photography, you go, take one, take two, take three, oh, do this, do this, this. Now, when you go to acting, yeah, you have the movies full time, you're there, take one, take two, take three, take four, da 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 da. Oh, you, 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 you didn't look in the camera, or oh, when you're acting, you looked at the camera, change. And then there is stage, where it's live, live audience. People are watching you and you're acting live. Yeah. Which of the two would you dread or would you admire to be in? Um, I'd say both because... Mm. You dread to be in both or love to be in both? I'd, again, I'd say both, either side of the coin, okay. because um, it's not possible, in my opinion anyway. Mm. I've come to appreciate that most of the things I love and enjoy and mm. admire, mm. there is no... There's no risk without gain. There's yeah. no, there's no pleasure without the price. Yeah. Um, acting. Mm. Sometimes one would be dealing with a very, mm. shall I say, impatient personality. Mm. Um, you could be with a producer that hates to repeat themselves. Yeah. So you take one, take two. By take five, they're wondering, can you mm. do this? Mm. Do you want a, a double? Do we get someone else to do it? Can you? Mm. And there's that pressure to get something right because 
with when you're dealing with professionals, people that have been in the industry longer than you, mm. you want to get something right. You yeah. don't want to be the troublemaker. Of course. Mm. Now, theater. Mm. Like you've said, it's live action, mm. but it's also one of the things I admire the most because I'm a lifelong student mm. of literature. Mm. And almost everything that we studied in literature as mm. plays yeah, yeah, yeah. have been reenacted yeah. on stage. Mm -hmm. And it's the most beautiful, you know, um, replication of that work. Mm. Sometime a while ago I was watching um, Benedict Cumberbatch do something by Shakespeare. Mm. Then I have a friend, mm. he's, um, he's a practicing lawyer, he's called Reina Mujezi. Yeah. Reina Mujezi has made um, a play called School for Scandal mm. look like child's play. It looks like, I mean, any one of us could get on stage and do it for the oh. people that study literature. Oh, wow. But anyone that has studied that play, mm. like, pedagogically like in class mm -hmm. they know it's not something light of course. so for somebody to replicate that to get mm. a script and be able to reenact that mm. it is fearsome yeah. it's uh, it's it's not something light mm. but like i said of modeling the process of the roses like eventually when you come out of that you feel like accomplished <sighs> Like, that sigh of relief is there yeah like, wow, i mean i denzel, made it denzel washington viola davis mm -hmm. um hugh Jackman, all mm -hmm. these people have been on a stage somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. before even getting to the camera. But mm. so it shows you, like I said, of modeling still, it mm. gives you a newfound respect yeah. of the arts because yeah. people are not playing. Yes, of they course. call it a play, they call mm. it acting, but mm. I assure you, mm. people are giving their A game. Yes, blood, sweat, tears, of of soul mm. in this. Mm. So I'd say both mm. give me a sort of fright, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they also give me an enviable allowance of mm. glee of gratitude wow yeah. wow wow damn enviable sigh of, gra of gratitude of relief <laughs> An enviable, enviable allowance of glee yeah. enviable allowance of glee yeah. wow okay ladies and gentlemen that has been phil collins okumu telling us all the best about his acting modeling and yeah we're just going to go for a short break when we come back we're going to have the final segment and we find the other side of phil collins see you right after the break Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is my star with Asa. My name is Angel Tony Asa, Prince of the Sun, and this is Phil Collins Okumu giving us all the best about his acting and modeling. Now, we want to see the other side of Phil Collins and we see who is Phil Collins in just. So, Phil Collins, mm -hmm. welcome back. Thank you. In just a uh, very quick fire short questions, I'm going to ask you a few questions and please answer as fast as you can, yeah? Okay, okay fine. So, Phil Collins. When was the first time you realized you're actually in love? Um, when Thierry Henry signed for Arsenal. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. You, 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 you've played it cool, but fine, no problem. Phil Collins, when we enter your house, what's the first thing we see when a visitor has entered your house? The first thing they see? Um, a portrait of Marlon Brando. Of you? Of Marlon Brando. Wow. Don Vito Colioni, the godfather. Oh, God. Santa Maria Littiano. <laughs> What's your best color? Um, navy blue. Navy blue. Do you have any navy blue on you at the moment? Um, these pants, I suppose. <laughs> Is it because you're Murian? Because I see you have it's, a Murian. It's, it, it, it could have an influence. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, when did you last cry when you said, yeah, you really cried emotionally? Um, graduating from the LDC. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm sitting with the full council. Not yet. Um, it, was, it was a diploma in law, but it yeah. meant so much wow. to my family. So yeah. seeing them delight about it even more than me was, it was yes. fulfilling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. But, but soon we'll be back there for the real thing. The real thing, the real deal. Yeah. After diploma, you go to what? Masters? Or no, like no, no. The bachelor? no yeah, diploma, bachelor. now you go to the bachelor's. In laws? Yes. So oh. after the LLB, then you go for the postgraduate back ah. at the LDC. Okay. Then you could proceed for the masters, then the doctorate if you're feeling like it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> and 
two last more questions mm. or oh, three more uh if you had um a lady musician in uganda if you're given a chance to go out with just for dinner who would it be irene tully irene tully yeah. wow okay ah really yeah really yes not nanduja who's that? okay <laughs> <laughs> and if it was a guy, the boys you're going to play basketball with while having a boy talk, who would that be? Chigozi. Chigozi. Navio. Navio yeah. The main man. And finally, if you write a book about yourself, what would the title be? God's son. God's son. Oh. The chosen one. <laughs> the only one. LeBron James. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and now Phil Collins, if you have final remarks for our audience, what would you tell them? Um, you can do it. A lot, a lot of times, our entire, there's, a, there's a, a movie, I forget the title, I watch lots of them. Um, an actor called Miles Teller yeah. said to another actress that she asked him what's the biggest lie we've been told. Mm. And he said it's not that simple. Yeah. Then she says, what is not that simple? Then he says, no, it is not that simple, that's the lie. Yeah. Truth be told, everything that you've been told is out of your reach. It's impossible. It cannot happen. Yeah. If only for the sake of disproving that, yeah. please go ahead with it. Perfect. I mean, somebody's going to tell you having um, a music career, having an acting career, having a, a YouTube channel, having a podcast, mm. having a fashion mm. or design brand, having a career as a model is fanciful and mm. it cannot happen. Mm. Even if it's only for the sake of proving them wrong, yeah, do it. Go ahead. It go is it. that simple. It because simple. if you could envision that, mm. Miles Monroe was saying, if you can envision something, God put it there for a reason. Wow. And if you do not pursue it, you will have done yourself a disservice. You can lie to others. You can tell your kids, I did not play basketball because opportunities were not there. Mm. And maybe they'll believe you, maybe your wife will believe you, maybe your family will believe mm. you. Mm. But every time you look in the mirror, you have to contend with the fact that you knew you can and you just didn't. Whereas, had you pursued, there's nothing more fulfilling than that. Wow. You'll leave this world a complete man. Without any regrets. Without regrets. Perfecto, ladies and gentlemen. I have nothing more I can add. The orator said it all. He has broken it down without any envy of doubt, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angel Tony Asa, and we've just had Phil Collins or Kumu, the orator himself, an actor, model, a basketballer, and student. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is my star with Asa. My name is Angel Tony Asa, Prince of the Sun. Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit those notification bells to get all the best of our shows every Friday at 7 p.m. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Ciao, adios. I'm done. Peace.